At last, presidency finally breaks silence over Tunubu's victory, says Einek fraudulently allocated an added vote to Tunubu to win. Uh -huh. My people, yes, now, now, wait, now wait, that, that's what I'm going to say. Of course, um, everybody already knows that uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu victory was is suspicious, and that is why you saw that the challenge was even coming more from the from the international world. The international world, we are not happy. They were lamenting that why would Tinubu become the president of Nigeria? Do you understand? They were they were they were crying aloud. They were shouting out. They were saying, "No, no, 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 no! It's not done anywhere, and all of that." Now look at it. Is it not true? It is true. I'm happy that all of these things are coming out and um, getting exposed gradually. So, my people, I think we are now at the table of truth. Let the truth be revealed. Let's quickly uh, check the content and know what presidency is actually Dutch speaking, saying, and uh, who actually is this presidency. This is morning news. Abuja, the presidential candidates of the new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, Rabiu Kwakwansu, has accused the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, under the chairmanship of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu of fraudulent allocating votes to Bola Tinubu. Kwakwansu alleged that the Electoral Commission allocated votes to Tinubu, the candidate of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, in the February 25th presidential election. The electoral umpire declared Tinubu a former governor of Lagos State the winner of the presidential election after pulling a total of 8,794,726 total votes to defeat his closest contender, Atiku Abaka of the People Democratic Party, PDP, who pulled a total of 6,984,520 votes. Peter Obi of the Labour Party LP pulled a total of 6,101,533 votes to secure the third position. Kwan Kwan Sogo pulled a total of 1,496,687 votes in the presidential election to come forth in an interview with BBC House of Service. Said Nigeria no longer like the ruling APC. He said the NNPP has a bright future because big politicians are interested in the party. Kwan Kwan so further said, another interesting thing is that more people, particularly big politicians, are seriously indicating interest in our party and they are willing to make necessary contributions to move the party forward. Take a look at our rivals, particularly the PDP. They are in a serious crisis, particularly as it concerns its leaders in Kano State. Some thought PDP would be of help to them or the game changer, but they were disappointed, woefully. Same with the APC. Stop talking about parties. Talk about what is on ground. You see, uh, the problem is between us. It's within them, yes. It's within them. They are the cause of their problem. That Tunubu one is their cause. Mm. They hatched what, uh, what made Tunubu to win this very election. So putting all the blame on the INEC, I would say, is not it. You understand? Um, from day one, it has been said clearly that Tunubu shouldn't have been allowed to participate. What did they do to stop it? When it showed interest, are they not supposed to have taken their move to expose all of his all of his dealings? Yesterday, the Turkish president intervened and said Tunubu's inauguration should be stopped with immediate effect. So, people of that calibre are people that they would have gone to to help them out, but everybody kept kept mute for one reason or the other. 
Now they are coming out to complain. I beg you, my people, make we hear from the outside people. Let's know what they equally think and what's your own opinion on this. Maybe don't forget your comment. They are still very much of great importance. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.